Hello everyone, my name is Jake. Today I'm making this video to talk about Thomas Matthew Crooks. Uh, this is the guy who uh, was responsible for the shooting at the Trump rally. You know, he shot Donald Trump in the ear and he actually shot another guy in the head and killed him. And then there was a few other people that got injured and I honestly don't know all the details on it. Um, but as far as I know, they're still alive. Um, this guy was a very wicked person. But a lot of people are kind of like asking the questions, why would he do this? What was his motives? And they really hadn't come up with a lot. Some of his uh, high school classmates have spoke out various different viewpoints. Some of them say he was bullied. Some of them say he was like very uh, jerkish. Um, I've heard different things. But the bottom line reality, guys, is the motive behind why he did what he did was sin. The motive behind his wickedness was sin. The same thing that motivates all wickedness. Um, let me explain it from a Christian perspective. Now, in this video, I'm assuming that the story we've got is, is true. That this guy was working by himself and he just decided to try to kill Trump. I'm assuming he's not a hitman, okay? So, if that's the case, how does something like this get started? Well, it starts with hatred, right? Jesus taught in the Bible that hatred is what motivates murder, all right? Lust is what motivates adultery. So if you start driving down Lust Highway, you start looking at women all the time and, and flirting around, eventually that's going to lead you to adultery or fornication or in, in some cases, if you keep driving down that road, it might even make you a sexual deviant that goes around raping people. All right, might even make you a pedophile if you keep going down that highway because it just gets darker and darker as you drive down that road. All right, uh, well, the same thing's true with um, hatred. Um, hatred is the same thing. You know, if you drive down the road of hatred and unforgiveness and... Uh, you know, anger, eventually it corrupts your character and it turns you into someone, if you just meditate on that hatred every day, it drives you to the point of actually wanting to act on it. And this is what happens to so many of these mass shooters, you know. They are people who are just full of bitterness and hatred and anger towards the world. And they decide that, uh, you know, I don't much want to live anymore. So before I go out, I'm going to see if I can wreck as much havoc as possible. And this is how you know these people are children of the devil. Because that's the devil's mindset. The Bible says the devil is angry because he knows his time is short. You see, so before the devil goes into the lake of fire, he knows it's coming. He decides before I perish, I'm going to see if I can't kill as many other people and take them down with me as I possibly can. That's his whole goal. That is the devil's whole goal right now. It, it, why he's waiting to be thrown in the hell is I'm going to take out as many people as I possibly can. And those who follow Satan in his footsteps, they have that same mindset. Well, if I'm going to give up on life, let me go out and see if I can't kill some people before so. Let me see if I can't, you know, execute the president before, um, you know, um, before I die. And it's ridiculous if you think about it, you know. Um, and, you know, it doesn't matter if you're watching this video and you're a Trump supporter or you're not a Trump supporter or whatever. None of that stuff. This has got nothing to do with the election. This is about murder, okay? Murder's wrong. I don't care if you like Donald Trump or not. It is a sin to kill somebody, all right? And not only did he try to assassinate Donald Trump, he did kill an innocent man and shot a couple of other innocent people in the audience, all right? And that's satanic, it's wicked, it's evil. Those families have forever been altered and changed, all right? And for that one particular individual that died, you know, his wife and two daughters, their lives will be forever changed. Yeah, he died in a heroic manner, but it doesn't change the fact that they lost their dad, they lost their husband because of a wicked boy. And I honestly, be honest with you, I don't really care what his motives were. You know, everybody's asking. I understand it's important to know, but a lot of people are asking, why would he do such a thing, you know? Um, you know, was he bullied in high school? What was wrong? Did he have a mental issue? I don't really care. I mean, at the end of the day, he's a murderer. And, um, 
you know, that's all I need to know about him to know that, um, you know what I mean? He's a child of the devil. It doesn't really matter if you're bullied in school or not. That don't give you a permission to go kill the president or to kill a bunch of innocent people in a mass shooting. This goes for all mass shooters. You don't have the right to kill anybody because you got bullied at school. I got bullied. I got abused as a kid. You don't see me going out and shooting everybody. And you know why? Because Jesus Christ. And that's what we need. That's what the young people need in this world is Jesus Christ. But because the entertainment is full of wickedness and the schools don't have Jesus in it, a lot of these people are influenced by demons rather than Jesus. And that is why this stuff happens. God bless.